up, guys? My name is Evan Turner. I am the co-owner and co-founder of 533. And uh, today we're going to try and break two world records. Uh, the first one we're going to try and break is the world's fastest tiny trainer build ever. Uh, maybe three, actually. The second one being the tiny trainer build with as little solder ever. Um, this will be the new standard for sure moving forward. But uh, nobody has these yet. So this will be the, the, the least amount of soldering for the customer that's ever been seen before. And the third one being the easiest tiny trainer build that you have ever done. So we're gonna do break all three of those things in this video. I don't have much time. I'm about to film live for DRL racing on NBC Sports uh, in about two hours. So I gotta hurry up, but uh, I would predict this video will not take very long at all. So let's hop into it and see all the new cool and exciting things brought to you by 533. Okay, first things first, we're gonna get rid of the frame. We don't need that, put it away. Uh, this is kind of some of the cool parts that you're gonna see. So first thing we're gonna do is open up our Beta FPV all-in-one. Uh, we worked with Beta FPV to make this all-in-one and I'm really, really happy with how it came out. So you open your all-in-one. As you can see, it's got a few things already soldered on there, some little dongles, and then you got some plugs on there that you wouldn't normally see. So this, we worked exactly with them to uh, come up with something specifically built for 533 in the Tiny Trainer and we wanted to make one of the easiest builds to date. So um, as you see, we have these little plugs here. So um, usually you'd have to bolt on the motors, mount your all-in-one, and then run your wires down, tape them down, and then tape it to the two, or uh, and then solder it to the all-in-one. And these pads are really, really small. And as a beginner, this is a beginner drone, it's called the Tiny Trainer. It was really, really um, almost sad in my opinion to see some people struggling to get their first build up because of the soldering and they couldn't go out and enjoy their, their new quad. So. We'll get our tiny trainer mo or tiny turner motors here. Sorry, I know that is the uh, weirdest name you've probably ever heard for a motor, but <laughs> I'm just kidding. But um, these are our 1404 spec 4533 kV motors. Uh, that's what we use in all the tiny trainer warehouse races that you might have seen on YouTube. Um, but if you want to race your tiny trainer in spec races uh, and also have probably, in my opinion, the highest quality motor out there, this is what you get. So you get this. As you can see, the, the plug is pre-soldered. We're gonna get our motor, and instead of doing all those steps that I mentioned earlier, I'm going to plug it in. This is the exact length that you will need when you put it on the tiny trainer. So one, and we're gonna do our second one. Oh, two, wow. Man, we're really ahead of whoever's soldering right now. Here comes the third one, and three, done. And then four. So now we just skipped like 20 steps if you were to build this the normal way. So now these motors are on and mounted. And now we're going to move on to soldering up the receiver and video transmitter. Okay, for those who are wondering, we are using Team Black Sheep products. Uh, this is the TBS Tracer for receiver and the Team Black Sheep Unified Pro 32 Nano for the VTX. Uh, these will fit perfectly here in the back of the frame. And uh, the Tiny Trainer does come with a nice little 3D print for those to stack on top of. Um, so we're gonna crack these open and I'll show you guys how the dongle system is going to work. Um, okay, so we're gonna start with the receiver first. This is your tiny little TBS tracer receiver, and you're going to get your little cable set that comes with the Beta FPV all-in-one. You're gonna open it up, and you're going to see that there is a plug on one side and some open-ended wires on the other. So we're going to get this plug right here. It, uh, for this is the back, this is the front, it is going to plug in right here, and that is where your receiver solders to. But, as you can see, that plugs in. So we don't need to solder to the all-in-one itself. We're going to unplug it. And these wires are labeled. So it's obviously black is ground. Red would be five volt. And then, uh, mm, I don't even know my own pin out. Let me get on that. Um, the first thing I like to do is receiver. So here we have our TBS trace receiver. As you can see, it's super small and compact, um, but you're going to need the cable set that comes with the Beta FPV all-in-one. And there's gonna be uh, three or four cables in there, but the one you're gonna be looking for is this one right here. It's got four wires, it has a plug that looks like that. And it's going to be the one that plugs in, this is the back here, down here, this is the front, so it's gonna be the one that plugs in right here. So as you can see, it'll plug in right here. Um, and your soldering's done in that regard, but we're gonna do the soldering to the receiver, of course, but those pads are super easy to solder to relatively, and um, we'll also keep solder blobs and whatnot away from your all in one. But as you can see, the wires are labeled. So you have black would be ground, of course, red would be five volt, 
This white one will be your RX, and then we will not be using the TX, which would be used for your telemetry and such. But um, this, I, I've never really used telemetry, and these three wires have got me uh, plenty far. So <laughs> uh, we're going to be using the red, black, and the white wire, uh, which will again will be ground, 5 volts, and your RX. Just as a small tip, uh, what I like to do instead of cutting the wire or something like that, um, since we're not going to be using the yellow one, I just get a little piece of tweet, get some tweezers, pull on this little tab right here. It's called de-pinning for those who have never done this before. You just kind of lift that little tab in there with something sharp uh, or small, and then you can just kind of pull that wire out. And this is uh, some really nice silicon wire, so you can use that for another one of your builds in the future. But um, now we have this plug that has three wires, so that's just how I like to do it. One thing to note is that I am not going to be cutting these wires at all. I am going to add a little bit of extra tin to them as you would when you solder. So you just get a little bit of piece of solder there, get your wire and just go in and touch the already uh, pre-stripped piece of wire, get some solder in there, make it easier to solder up to. And again, totally doable for any sort of beginner uh, in soldering to tin these wires up, no problem. So I have my receiver tinned up and um, I'm going to solder my black, white, and red wires down. And uh, the nice thing about this is that you are soldering to your receiver, your $24, $30 receiver, not your $70, $80 all-in-one that could go up in flames when you plug it in and there's a short somewhere. So this is very nice that you can practice your soldering or make your mistakes on something like this that's not going to be detrimental. And then you can just simply plug it in your all-in-one when you're ready to go. Okay, I now have my receiver soldered up. It's just those little three wires. The pads on these are nice and spread apart. And although they are small, uh, they're pretty simple just because of how far apart they are and how much leeway they give you. So um, the stock tracer uh, antennas are these uh, um, like little T's, like the baby T antennas. Um, but for the tiny trainer, uh, it is a bit of a tight fit to get these in there. And these are uh, a little bit nicer for a five inch size drone. So I actually save these if I ever break them. And you can get these, uh, they're called like tracer monopole antennas. Uh, we have them on our store, 533. Um, and these fit much better for a tiny trainer size, size drone and also just a little bit easier to work with. So I just bought, they come in like a five pack. So that's for two and a half drones, I guess. Um, and I just put those on my tracer receiver and two of them there and snap on. And then now effectively I am done soldering my receiver up. I of course will throw some heat shrink on it um, and shrink that down. But uh, let's see, I will get my wire here and I would simply just plug it in to my uh, all-in-one, twist up this wire to get it to the correct length. And this will seat perfectly in the back of your tiny trainer. So pretty cool. We're gonna do the same thing to the VTX and you won't actually have to do any sort of soldering or anything for your camera because your camera dongle comes pre-done, like it's already done. This will plug directly into your Fox here or run cam camera and you won't have to do anything about it. So that's done, uh, saves you a little bit of time there and also some effort. And then also we're just gonna do this uh, VTX dongle, which I'm gonna show you in a little bit and you will be done. So I think that is so cool. With the receiver being done, we're going to set this aside alongside our receiver. Uh, now we're gonna open up our VTX here. So again, this is the TBS Unify Pro 32 Nano. Um, all of this stuff you're seeing is available on our store, uh, 533. So it'd be fly, F-I-V-E 33.com, um, which I, I always crack myself up. Being that I named a business that I, you have to spell out one of the words instead of typing the number. But hey, we know for next time. Um, but we're going to open up our packaging here and really cool uh, environmental consciousness, uh, conscious uh, packaging from Team Black Sheep. So get this little mounting board that we're not going to use, but it'd be a great thing to save for your five inch drone. Um, and then we have our VTX. I almost forgot something. Look at this, your Team Black Sheep VTX comes with a monopole antenna. And if a race director's watching this right now, probably horrified because they would get worse video on a monopole, we run four up of the Tiny Trainer series and have a great video running these tiny monopole, monopole antennas and they come with your VTX. So you don't have to worry about buying one. Um, if, you're, if you are looking for better antennas uh, to get better video, maybe for longer range with the Tiny Trainer for some freestyle, 
would highly recommend uh, the Axie line of antennas. We have them uh, in the 533 store, but also they're available just about anywhere. So, um, but um, we're lucky. So we get a free antenna that comes with the purchase of the, your VTX. We're going to solder up your four wires. So that will be your ground, your positive, your video, and then your TX, which will be your smart audio wire. So we'll show you how to do that and you will be um, soldered up ready to go with your uh, VTX now on your Titan Trainer. Again, soldering only on, your on, only on your VTX and no soldering on your all-in-one. Look for the cable that looks uh, at the time like this. So it has the plug on one side that has the four wires and the little notches on it, and then the open ended on the other side with some pretty short wire. Um, this will um, plug into this little dongle you see right here. So it'll plug in. And this is one uh, mistake that was made in the production of these in the first batch. So if you're watching this later, it's hopefully fixed. But um, so essentially you want to assume that the wires before the connector are correct. So the one uh, for you guys all the way at the bottom will be black then, or will be ground. The next one up will be red, which will be positive. The next one up after that will be green, which will be your uh, TX. And then the one all the way at the end will be yellow, which will be your video. Um, as you can see here, this dongle, they did mess up the colors, um, so it'll be messed up here. So if you see me soldering some things in some weird places, that is why. But hopefully that's fixed in the future. But just again, assume that the one, all wires before the connector are correct, and that's what we're going to do from here on out. Don't make fun of my soldering skills, but we do have our VTX soldered up now. And again, we are going to plug that directly in to our all-in-one dongle here. Boom, powered on right there like so. Um, next thing you would do is you would, um, obviously you'd have your camera mounted and so forth and you could plug it in. And let's see, I'll get my receiver here, plug it in and voila. Uh, so now, uh, pretty much comes the easy part. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to mount this on the frame. The uh, Your Tiny Trainer frame kit will come with all the provided hardware that you will need, including 3D prints uh, if you get those, um, as well as the stack hardware, the standoffs, all the little nuts and bolts and spacers you may need. And um, so I'm going to toss this on the frame now and we're going to uh, keep going a little bit further. The battery on my camera is about to die. We're going to try and be quick for this next little bit, but it's easy, I promise. So you have your frame. We put our standoffs on and our stack state or in our stack screws on. Screw them on, put the one little nut on the bottom. You're going to get your all-in-one. As you can see, we have our receiver, our VTX, our camera wire, and all our motors already on there. We're going to get it over here. And you kind of just have to wiggle it on there. And once you line up all the stack screws, you can literally press on your drone. So you've effectively built this entire drone off of the frame. And then now you just press it on. Voila. We will bolt motor one, two, three, oops, three and four down. And then you'll twist your receiver wire up. We'll have our mount, our, v, our uh, 3D printed v, uh, VTX mount and receiver mount back here. Boom. Ready and boom. That'll go in like that. Then you'll have your, um, then this little, you'll mount your camera mount. Camera mount's gonna come up here. Your camera will plug in. Voila. You have literally built this drone by soldering up your video transmitter and your receiver. Like, that, that's so cool to me that we're getting so close to having no solder. I want to get to that point. I want to make it easy for people to get into this sport and this hobby. And I'm so excited that we're getting so close to making it easier and easier for people to get into. So um, I'm running out of time, as I said, but the rest is pretty plug and play. Um, it all just bolts on. All the 3D printed parts will come included with your Tiny Trainer kit, but keep an eye out for a full build video. As you can see, it's pretty simple, but I want to do a full build video with beta flight setup and everything like that. Keep a uh, lookout in the video description below for when that comes out, but I'm super excited and you have just built your very first drone, maybe, or you just built a Tiny Trainer that you're really excited about, but either way, it was going to be easy for you, hopefully, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. So go out and fly it, have some fun, and I hope this was helpful, at least showing you how you should start building your first drum. Thanks, guys. See ya.